great couple of nights there. But now it's time to move on. And we're going to go and search in, uh, for an air, I think, tonight. Oh, it's too much excitement today for Michelle. She's actually had a gone for sleep in the motorhome. Seems to have parked up in a really good place though. Three euros, 24 hours. And look at this. Just two minutes walk from the motorhome. This is a beautiful place. It's like James Bond, this is. I'm gonna have to dive into one of these arches in a minute. It's gonna get this machine gun out. Anyway, let's see if Sleepyhead's woken up. The viewers want to know why you're in bed. Because I didn't sleep very well. I've booked a pile for 8 o'clock. Really? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Oh yes. What time is it? Five to eight. No it's not. It's about half six. <laughs> oh, we're looking at your mighty big pole though. Right, okay, so we're leaving this beautiful air, which costs three euros a night. The name of this place is Michelle. Oh, Castillo Fortaleza de Enza. Well again. done. <laughs> but it is an incredible air. It's got the um, grey water drop off, toilet dump, three euros, like Andy said, for 24 hours. Literally, two minutes, and you're in the town. There's some amazing restaurants, um, little boutique shops. Found a little butchers, didn't we? It's just beautiful. It's definitely, definitely worth coming and staying here overnight.
And this is Alcazar. Oh, and on cue. Oh, just one, one ring of the bell. <laughs> I thought it was going to play a tune for us. <laughs> I named that tune in one. Alcazar is beautiful. It's a lovely medieval town. Stunning. I'm going to take you around again. And down there, there's a huge, beautiful gorge. A gorgeous gorge. Which we'll put the link in because we've actually been here before. How many years ago was it? Two years ago. Two years ago and did that gorge and it is beautiful. So we're just going to go and do it again today. We're not going to film it because you've well, already I, seen it. I disagree. Oh. We, d we didn't bring the pole oh. last time. And his big pole. <laughs> right, this is fantastic. It looks like we're going to be the only ones down there. Last time it came down here, there was hordes of people and it was a struggle to kind of film, but uh, literally the guide to open the gate up to let us in. <laughs> Got a telephone number, haven't we, in case anything goes wrong. Well, we're nearly at the end of this fabulous walk along the gorge. The boardwalk. The boardwalk. <laughs> there was actually a, this is fairly new. There's an older one, which I did video part way round, which looks very sketchy. This feels fine. Obviously it's a long way down, so if you're scared of heights, you might not like this. It is perfectly safe. I think the biggest risk here is the, uh, the rocks up there, they all look a bit crumbly. Normally you have to wear hats, hard hats, but I guess because we're out of season and virtually the only ones here, we don't have to do that today. Or it might just be a language barrier when I said I've got my hat on. Oh no, what's this? It's not shut is it? Please, for everybody's security, make sure the door is closed after you, after you pass. Thank you. Ah, this is the new addition. It wasn't here last time. This is here to stop people walking the wrong way and making sure people pay their four euros to come down here. You not believe this. It's gone past five o'clock now. I've taken too long. It's shut. Such a nighty. I know. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah and I'm sure there's no handles on the other side. Correct. Well, obviously, otherwise you can get in again. <laughs> I know, that's, that's the way it works. Oh, Nick. Bye now. Yeah, we don't, you haven't left anything behind, have you? So now, after the uh, walk on the metal, <laughs> what are they called? Gangways. Boardwalk by gangways. After the walk, it's now one kilometre back up into Alcazar, the town. And I think we're going to get a drink there, aren't we? I think I'm going to work up a thirst walking up there. Yeah. So we're off up there now. And I shall show you. Here it is. Just behind us there. Disaster. Again. The bar is shut. There's another bar up there and it's shut too. <laughs> it's not looking good. I mean, it is a Monday afternoon in October. About six o'clock in the evening. You need to come out at 8 o'clock when the sunshine's gone to get a drink now. It's all closed. This is where we sat last time. Just here and look down onto the, the trail. Not to be this time, babe. Morning! So Morning. this was our beautiful view that we had when we woke up. Another gorgeous sunny day. And we're off walking. Where are we off to? Something special today. I like the sound. <laughs> we're going to see some prehistoric cave paintings. <gasps> are they of your... You? No. Prehistoric? No. No? <laughs> Cheeky, isn't she? <laughs> well, I might be going on my own. It is some height already above Alcazar. This looks a nice place to come. Obviously out of season, so it's closed. But it's got some picnic benches there. Maybe they even do refreshments as well. Did they? Yeah, lots of flies around, pesky things. What have you found? Wee wee shelter. <laughs> I'm not going in there then. Oh, I have been. No, I think it's just a shelter, isn't it? In case it gets bad weather, maybe. It's hot, it's steep. Very hot. I think it's, it's about 26 degrees today. Very cold and wet in the UK. Oh, just rub it in for everybody. <laughs> We've just spotted in the distance some railings over there on the cliff edge. We're heading there. Should be some good stuff to look at. We're getting close now to the first painting. I'm actually getting excited. Are you excited? Is there a gin shop there? There's no, nothing like that there. So, uh, Abrigo de Quizans. Up here. Here we go. You can see here we've got some, I uh, can't read after to translate the uh, Spanish, mm -hmm. but we've got the cave on there making the mm -hmm. cave drawings. Let's go and take a look. see anything yet. Oh, I see. 
very faint. Just see the red, red markings there, there. Oh. You're going to be disappointed now, aren't you? A magnificent paintings, babes. Oh. 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 He may not have got a star in his uh, art exam, right? I had to give him a, a D minus for that. I'm, sh I'm sure it's better at the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. It's a fantastic place for a spot of lunch. I think the lunch is better than the paintings. But look at this view. <laughs> Ay, amazing. Disappointment is the understatement of the, uh, yeah. the holiday. Nice. I wouldn't waste the rubber on your shoes. <laughs> I'm sure the next one will be worth it and all will be redeemed. If nothing else, it's a really nice walk. No, it's not, not really. How can you say this is not nice? This bit's alright, the rest of it was a bit nice. I'm enjoying the walk. No, Michelle doesn't like the walk. No, out of 10 for Barney Walk, this is rating at the minute. As a 2.7. You are so harsh. 10. Big difference in temperature when you enter the forest or woods. Some animal, by the looks of it, has been digging up around here. If anybody knows what this is, please comment and tell us. It's a red hot day, but down here it's really damp and slippy. I don't think I'm going to go in. It looks very unstable. See lots of stones on here which are very fresh. So that means don't stand under here for very long. Ow! Something really sharp as well. Oh! I wouldn't hold it if it's, if it's got sharp bits on it. No, I put my hands in the grass as if it's sharp before. That's it. The ends of them sharp. Getting close. This time I am not feeling excited. I'm willing to be pleasantly surprised, but I'm not expecting much. Like a bit of a ladder. Oh, I can see this. I can actually see it. Fantastic. I've got goosebumps. Oh. Wow, that is what I was looking for. Amazing. So we're just watching these birds, willing them to take off. And now I've got to backtrack quite a bit to get back up to the original path. But you know, in a way it's quite good. That this is really inaccessible. It's obviously helped to preserve it. That was five miles and the last 45 minutes was kind of quite climby and slicky. Nice of him to put a show on for us as we're walking down. 
and circling there in the thermals. Looking for his next meal. Oh, maybe better. So just reached a point now where we're no longer going to be backtracking, thankfully, because we don't like backtrackings, do we? But it's, it's a nice backtrack as it goes. And we're going to head down there, back into Alcazar. Oh, I hope the uh, cafes are open. I really want an orangina. I know, I think the sun has got to my brain. And I'm going to have a beerina. Beerina ballerina. We're hiking this in the middle of October and it's warm. Imagine what it's like in the middle of summer. We've got three litres of water each and uh, you definitely need a lot of water on this walk. What is it? Fun fair ride. <laughs> There's fish in there. Is that? Oh, there actually is goldfish. And we're back in Alcazar. Yes, we are. Welcome to Alcazar. Which way? Uh, Which way does your instinct take you? Oh, I think down here. Probably wrong. I've got my sniffometer on. For a drink. Sniffometer? For a drink. going to be refreshing. <laughs> I'm ready for this, I'm so hot. Not as refreshing as... Cheers. 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 Still only a 4.8 though. <laughs> Alright, we've got a big dif difference on the opinion of this walk. When you watch this video, I want you to post in the comments your score for the walk. Not much scenery. I think the heat's got to you. Mm, maybe. <laughs> supposed to be good for you. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs>